I just got to show that I can be a dominant special teams player, that I can take coaching um, and do the technique that the coaches asked me to do instead of going out there and doing my own thing. Um, yeah, and just show that I can dominate out there in that area of the game. I don't think I've really uh, shown yet. I had a lot more reps, special teams this game, so just capitalizing there and showing him, like, hey, I'm a, I'm a dude on special teams. I'm not just a guy. I'm a dude, you know. So I feel like if I show that, I got a good chance, you know, so. With just one, essentially probably one quarter to play, the starters playing deep in there on defense, you know, what are you trying to accomplish out there uh, other than just on special teams? Uh, hopefully, I play some defense, um, but just doing my job on defense. That's all I'm focused on, uh, doing my job on defense, um, you know, being a good teammate. And on special teams, I just need to dominate. You know, that's what I'm thinking about when I'm out there. Big thing is putting positive film Right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, really, for, for me, um, I've just learned some new stuff, uh, moving my position around a little bit, challenging me. Um, and you're really just taking a coaching is the biggest thing I have to show them that I'm able to do. I'll improve from last week to this week uh, from stuff like my kick slide or stuff like making sure I'm getting my hands in the right place and stuff like that and not making repeat mistakes. Yeah, like you said, putting good stuff on tape. Where did you learn to embrace special teams? Was it in high school, a conversation with a coach, watching tape? Where did you learn to love it? Yeah, um, I think that if you watch me play special teams, it's going to look a lot like the way I play defense. Um, it's just kind of how I do everything on the field. Um, and, and one day, probably my freshman, sophomore year, I just kind of realized that I was going really, really hard. And a lot of guys aren't going as hard. They might not sprint the whole play. Punt returns a long play. Kickoff's a long play. Um, so realizing that I was fast, I was strong, I was conditioned, and I had the will to, to, to make plays, even if it wasn't set up for me to make it. And that's really all the special teams is about is effort. And uh, once I realized that what I'm naturally good at, which is effort, kind of went into special teams, I guess that's when I kind of knew, like, all right, I have to make some make something happen here. And that, that started in, in, in high school, middle school. Yeah. With everything that you've been through, what does it mean to come back home as an NFL football player? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. You know, I, I really think it's uh, probably more cool for my family, honestly, than it is for me. And it's, it's cool for me because of them. Um, so, you know, being able to share this experience with them and, and you know, hopefully make some plays. Uh, while they're in the presence, and I'm an NFL guy, I mean, that's cool, you know. Uh, everybody is. Uh, you know, uh, my siblings will be there. Uh, my dad will be there. Uh, my uncles, my aunts, my high school coaches. Uh, everybody's been hitting me up. Um, cousins, like, everybody's going to be there. So I got to make something happen. I don't know. Yeah. Everybody talks about you have to have your head on a swivel. Mm hmm Right, right. How hard is that for Um, I think it's something I naturally do. Um, but a lot of times you can get focused on ball carrier, ball carrier, ball carrier, and you might have a new block threat or something like that that you might be getting double teamed. Um, so it's important for you as a kickoff player to really just identify what your block threat is and before the game, so that as you're running down there, you're not just looking at the ball, you're looking at your block threat through the ball like a little triangle, you know. So. If you're doing that, then you shouldn't get snuck up on, you know, hopefully. Most challenging for me has been punt and kickoff return. Uh, punt just because uh, uh, everybody can, anybody can kick slide, but to react to the snap of the ball at the same speed as somebody who's moving forward and you're going backwards in an uncomfortable position, I uh, have to do a lot of work uh, there. Um, and I, I'm definitely going to show some improvement uh, this week in that. Um, and just kick return because you're in a lot of space. Um, and just understanding, like, you know, leverage, understanding uh, what you're trying to do, what the job is. You know, a uh, couple weeks, this past couple weeks, I kind of tried to just leverage my guy to one side and get him to go one way. But that's not the actual technique we've been coached. Um, so it's just being able to take that technique that he's coaching and be like, okay, I have to make this play in space. And, uh, you know, I have to be a dude. If you're not a dude, you're going to get mixed and you're going to make a tackle. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, and college, effort was enough. Um, effort was enough to make 
plenty of special teams plays. I made so many special teams plays just because I was running harder. I was running my full speed. I was probably the same speed, if not faster, than the return man in college. You know, the return men in the NFL are the best athletes here. They're the fastest, quickest guys. Um, so you also got to have technique. You got to be thinking. It's not just run down there and, you know, just knock somebody's head off. You know, you might have to squeeze to the ball and stuff like that. So I think that's the biggest difference. Um, and as well as just all the techniques and stuff. Because, you know, in, high, uh, in college, I, I played, I played uh, in the slot. But I could just, on punt, I could just run, though. You didn't have to block anybody. The, you had a rugby punter. Like, everything's different here. So I'm getting used to it. Yeah, I mean, for me, um, you know, I was just getting to the point in college where I was kind of erupting as a vocal leader. Um, and my sophomore, freshman year of college, I was kept my mouth shut and I put in the work. And I put it on the field to where people could respect me. So if I had something to say, then they'd respect it then because I was a player. Um, and so I've kind of had to go back to that. Um, coming here, it just, you know, like shut my mouth doing the work and really trying to take coaching and, and doing my best and understanding that, you know, I'm not the guy here, you know. Um, and for some guys, that's tough. Uh, but for me, it's something I'm used to. So um, really just embracing that and, and going back to that mindset, you know, like, yeah. I'm sorry, say that again at the end. I'm not sure. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. I mean, you know, he might, you know, tell you guys positive stuff. But, you know, for us, he, uh, he's pretty tough on us. Um, and uh, everything is, you know, to get us better. So I definitely appreciate that. Um, but, you know, I feel like with me, you know what you're going to get. I'm going to go out there and play as hard as I can. I'm going to do my best to do my job. You're not going to catch me loafing. You're not going to catch me BSing. I'm not going to be unnecessarily doing something. Um, so... For me, maybe that's what it is. Um, so hopefully I can, you know, show him as the rest of the staff and really my teammates. I want that respect from my team as well, you know, that that they can be confident in me when I'm out there. If you see me next to him, like, oh, he's going to block his guy or he's going to do what he's supposed to do. Um, so that's going to be my biggest uh, focus this game is to earn that respect to everybody and just to make everybody confident that I can do my job and that I can be dominant. Yeah, I mean, you know, for me, I've thought about every scenario, um, and I don't want to be anywhere else. Um, even if I didn't make this team, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else simply because of the people I'm getting the opportunity to just learn behind, to develop as a player. Um, and I think it would mean a lot, I mean, because for me, there was multiple teams, probably 30, 31 teams in free agency that were contacting me and my agent because I was like highly sought after in free agency. And, um, you know, I didn't hear from the Bucks during the whole process. I heard from all these other teams during the process and kind of kind of made me like upset with those other teams because they were spending so much time talking to me, so much time telling me like, hey, you're our guy, you're the best special teams guy, all this type of stuff. And then came draft day, they didn't put a trigger. So the Bucks did, you know, so that definitely means a lot to me. So it mean a lot for me to make this team to add value to this team because they were the team to pick me, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can't let the game get too big for me. I, I have to... There's been times where I don't let my technique translate onto the field in game day. Um, I'm very, I practice very hard. I'm very specific with what I'm trying to do. Um, so just making sure that that translates and making sure that I'm not getting out there and forgetting about everything because the lights are on. And uh, there's this guy that I play with in Madden in front of me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, some of that is still cool to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I know this dude. Like, he's on my ultimate team, you know? Um, so just understanding where I'm at and, and, and play like it's practice. And, you know, coach has done a good job of making practice harder than the game. 
Um, but just getting getting and you know for me the past couple of weeks has been like kind of just been thrown in there at random times. Um, so being able to get in the game and, and, and be on special teams rep after rep, rep after rep, I think it's gonna help me as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're talking about uh, the four by four at state. Um, my team was a very good team. Um, we had four great guys who all went off to you know play Division one sports, um, and I was the anchor. And uh, we had won every race that we competed in up until state. And when I got the stick, I was in sixth place, a tie for sixth place. And the guy that was in first was the fastest guy in the country. He broke all the records. His name was Champ Allison. So I kind of had my mindset, I'm going to go catch that guy. Because I feel like if I get even with him, then, like, nobody else is going to catch me. Um, so I, I definitely went out and, and tried to go get everybody um, in the 400. And uh, I passed up everybody really fast. I kind of went out a little too hard. And that last 100, I was hanging in third. And I was just doing my best to finish, you know, pick my, my knees up. This guy behind me was, like, 6'5". And he's like, you can hear it, ooh, like, yeah, he was hawking me down. Like, this was somebody I passed up earlier. He's coming back to get me. Um, and so got to that finish line, and, and he was, like, doing like this. I was doing like this. So I just felt like I had to, you know, get, get that medal for my team. We wanted that medal. Uh, so I dove, and we got third, you know, so. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can appreciate both of these coaches. You know, that's something, you know, some guys, you know, get here and, and he, a coach might speak to them a little strongly or something and they take offense to it or they get in their feelings or they feel the need to talk back. But I think with, with both of those guys, you don't feel the need to say anything because you understand what their motivation is. You understand what their intent is. Everything is to make you better. Everything is to make the team win. Um, so... But that respect was already there before I got here. I mean, Coach Aarons has been my favorite coach, like, forever. You know what I'm saying? So I was used to that, you know, with, with Coach Holgerson. You know, very used to that. The first interaction I had with Coach Holgerson, we was going back and forth with the same language. So, yeah. That type of guy. Yeah. Um, you mentioned your ultimate team. Mm-hmm. Um, probably most of this team uh, when I first got here. Um, you know, Levante is a guy I look up to a lot. Devin White, of course. Um, really that whole defense. Um, but probably just like going against the Titans and, you know, going in practice and seeing guys like Derrick Henry, like, and like, you know, having conversations with dudes that like I've really just been, like I, I film studied a lot of the, the Titans uh, linebackers, you know, because they're similar size to me and stuff like that. Um, so just doing a rep against one of them, that was that was cool for me, you know. So uh, I think like uh, David Long, you know, just getting a rep against him, like that was cool. Grant, since you, you know, being here rookie minicamp up till now, what's the biggest takeaway? What's the biggest thing that you've learned throughout this whole experience? Um, I probably say that it is a grind. Um, yeah, I probably say that it's a grind, like. I mean, camp is camp. I'm, I don't know what the season's gonna be like, um, but like it's every single day you're learning something new. Um, every single day you're being challenged. Every single day you're probably gonna get, you know, some harsh words said to you if you messed up and stuff like that. And like, there's a lot of stuff. Um, there'll be like times where you might want to quit. Times where you don't want to show up. You know, we've had some some episodes around the league with guys having a lot of mental health. Uh, issues because this is very hard on your mental um, and so I think it was just important for me uh, to be grounded in my faith and you know I have a wife and a little sister at home and you know blessed to be able to to you know see them blessed to be able to um, you know spend a little time with them them being here so definitely just that's why I like you know BA I like this whole staff and their attitude towards family their attitude towards you know, making sure your mental is good, like you're not getting run out. Uh, so that's been the biggest thing for me, I, re I think, is like, uh, you know, like I said, sometimes you feel like, oh, dang, like, do I even want to be out here? <laughs> but like, 
um, you know, going home and resetting every night. And it's just a constant, it's constant, it's constant every day. If you mess up one day, if it's just one day, but I just don't feel like doing it, well, you might not be here anymore, you know. So uh, that's, that's the, the biggest difference, I think, uh, coming in.